we were able to get three counts right away and <laughs> that's crazy he's laughing let's give him the thumbs up i've been so alone ever since i left the tribe that's just how it goes cuz i like to Yo, what is up guys, Serge Goblin here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you guys can see right here, I have a crazy deck and it's a deck from a Japanese player, Matatabi. I will include his YouTube in the description. This is the only deck he uses and it's a 3 crown deck. As you guys can see, it has the Goblin Barrel, Mirror Clone. Then you have the Miner, the Rocket and some uh, like bait troops like to bait their lock, their zap or whatever they have. So in my opinion, it's a really interesting deck. I will be playing it in a Grand Challenge. Unfortunately, I'm not at 9 wins. I don't have the time to get to 9 wins and try to get 12 life for you guys. So I'll just play a few battles trying to 3 crown uh, people. If you don't like this video, feel free to uh, like skip it away and wait until I upload a new video. But I'm going to my family pretty soon. It's 10 a.m. over here in the Netherlands, so that's why. So I will start off with this deck right now. I will start in a Grand Challenge. So let's hop into a match. And basically the point of this deck is uh, three crowning your opponent. The first attack, the surprise attack where you throw the mirror goblin barrel and then clone it. Has to be um, sort of perfect because you need to get a lot of damage because the king tower has so much HP. So first we are um, like baiting out his, his spells. So I will start off with a miner and fire spirits. There you go, he used his lock. Um, so we, we're still able to chip away in that tower quite well. But let's call it a good game just to see if he... Uh, okay, so he actually pumps. Let's go with Goblin Barrel Mirror and then Clone. Let's see if we are able to get some damage. Looks like the Goblins are able to deal quite a lot of damage. And wow, look at the damage, guys. I think we're able to cycle Rockets right now. Depends on if he goes with um, a Golem, but otherwise we're able to cycle Rockets. So let's, let, that's a perfect example. So he does go with a Golem, but our Rocket... Uh, the golem and the tower I will send in a miner and we just need to chip away because I do want the miner to hit the tower Otherwise, we are oh, okay. So we do need to get some goblin barrel damage. Otherwise, we can't defend that So let's go with a goblin barrel if he uh, uses lock we can go with a mirror goblin barrel So let's see he does use his lock so we can go with a mirror goblin barrel and this might be pretty close Maybe he has uh, like goblins or something. He uses his knight. Let's see if we are able to get some damage at least one hit, please Wow, don't tell me we will lose because uh, we can't get any damage with a miner or something. That would be really bad. Uh, he does have the baby dragon there. Let's go with fire spirits and Skarmy. So let's go with Skarmy right now. Let's uh, try to kill his electro wizard. Um, we have to drop our goblin gang just to make sure we don't take too much damage with his mega minion. He did use his lock. So I think we are able to... Do I want to defend? Yeah, I need to defend. I need to drop my miner right now, guys. Uh, he did use his lock, so let's try to go with a barrel. Uh, of course, I can mirror my rocket, but that's so expensive, and I needed to defend first. So let's see if he can counter this. At least one hit. Yeah, there you go. That's in rocket range, so it looks like we are able to get three crowns. He was using a golem deck. Let's throw the rocket right now, guys. And there you guys have it. Three crowns with this crazy deck, so let's give him the thumbs up. Good game. And the wall plate and wow what a crazy first game so as you guys can see this deck actually works the first push like we were able to bait out his lock he spent a lot of elixir on the collector so we were able to go with the surprise attack like people like who expects uh, your opponent to throw mirror goblin barrel and then clone it so we're actually 1-0 in this grand challenge right now let's hop into a new match and let's see guys so let's give him the thumbs up and the good luck and again, I want to bait out um, like spells. So I could just drop, start off with a Skarmy at the bridge, knowing that he will probably counter it. But let's see if he drops anything. So let's first go with uh, Fire Spirits. And then I will probably go with a minor Skarmy. Because most of the times people will try to defend that and then go with a big counter push. So let's go with minor Skarmy. Let's see if he has like a lock or anything. He uses Arches. Let's see if he has a spell. There you go. There's his lock as well. So let's say he commits a lot of Elixir, an Expo, or I don't know what his deck is. So here's a perfect example. He goes in a lot. Oh wow, I should have waited a little bit because I don't have the clone yet. Uh, let's see, there you go, let's clone. So he spent a lot of elixir and the goblins are there on the king tower. Let's see, look, maybe three counts right away. Wow, guys, we were able to get three counts right away. And <laughs> that's crazy, he's laughing. Let's give him the thumbs up. And wow, that's crazy, guys. What a crazy deck. So 2-0 in the grand challenge so far. And wow, that's just crazy. He spent all of his elixir on the counter push. Like, he had arches there. He locked um, the units. I believe he sent in a miner, also fire spirit. So he basically went all in. We... Um, 
were able to throw that attack and that was crazy we were able to get three grounds 2-0 in the grand challenge right now we already won two matches and i'm just recording for uh almost five minutes so he has a knight let's go with a miner let's go with a goblin gang again baiting out his um like a spell so he uses electro wizard i will go with i'll actually mirror my goblin gang right now to see if he has a like a big spell and it's okay if you don't if you can't like go with attack right away you just need to find that perfect moment when he's really low on elixir and while we're slowly chipping away on the right side i think i'll just rock it over here just to um like make it seem i'm, I'm playing a serious deck because i just like i'm searching for information right now he didn't show any of our spells so i'm not sure if it's safe to spend 10 elixir um if he just like if he could just log it so he has a knight. Okay, so wow, he's going with three musketeers. Uh, I guess Skarmy is good. I will go with a goblin barrel over here to see if he has a, a zap or a lock. If he uses lock, we can go with Skarmy. Uh, looks like he will ignore it. Wow, that's interesting. Let's go with a uh, Skarmy. If he has zap, we can mirror it. He has bats. Let's mirror it anyways. Uh, he has bats over there. Uh, I think we are able to defend that quite nice. I still think he will get a lot of damage because the Musketeer, one Musketeer is alive. But wow, he didn't show any of his spells. Maybe he doesn't have a spell. That that would be interesting. Um, we're slowly chipping away the left side, by the way. I just want to cycle back to uh, my Goblin. Okay, so he does have a Bandit. I just want to cycle back to my Mirror Goblin Barrel. So let's go with a Miner and a Goblin Gang right now. Um, I also need to cycle back to... Okay, so he does have Electro Wizard. I need to cycle back to Mirror. So let's go with the Skarmy. And right now he would have to use his spell. If he doesn't use anything, he doesn't have a spell, it looks like. So let's give him the, the good game. Uh, just to see if he like goes all in, if he makes a push. If he does. Uh, okay, so he actually goes with Collector. So let's go with Mirror Barrel. And then we will uh, clone it. Looks like he does have Bats and Goblins. And no, this will not deal a lot of damage. He has the, the Electro Wizard over there. But we are able to maybe take down his second tower just by chipping away. Um, let's go with Goblin Gang. Let's go with a Skarmy. Uh, let's see, let's see. He has the Bats over there. Looks like he doesn't have any, like, big spell. That's strange. Let's go with Fire Spirits. Um, Goblin Barrel. Maybe we're able to take the tower. Not in the good way, because the good way would be 3 crowning. But I guess we are able to chip it away because we have mirror rocket right now. Uh, we do need to defend this, of course. Um, let's see, let's see. He has bats over here, but I think the tower is locked on the musketeer. Yeah, there you go. The tower is locked on the musketeer. Let's go with goblin barrel. And I think we will just win this by not not uh, three crowning is giving the angry face we tried to get three crowns but i guess this is not the good way but we still are able to get a win with this deck so this deck is actually really legit like let's say the um, the fun way doesn't work like the three crown way doesn't work then you can actually take down the the left side tower the right side tower with like chipping away miners mirror goblin barrels and your defense is actually quite solid um i would say this deck is weak to air but then still you have the rocket and the fire spirits to kill like a balloon or something so this deck is actually really fun. 3-0 in the grand challenge right now. I think I will do maybe two or three more life battles. I don't have that much time. And I'm playing someone from Arena Casito, which is the feeder of Team Castle, like the competitive clan. Um, so let's see if we are able to get three crowns on this guy. That would be fun. Let's go with a miner and a and a goblin gang. Yes, uh, goblin barrel. Let's go with fire spirits. So he used his um Okay, that's interesting. So it looks like he has lock bait. So he used all like almost all his spells because he used his lock. Uh, his I think he used his ice spirit as well. Let's see. Th there you go. There's his princess. Let's give him the good game just to see if he falls for it. If he does, we can go with um with a goblin barrel. But I don't want him to cycle back to lock. So I think he cycled back to lock. I will go with Skarmy. I just want to make sure he doesn't have lock and cycle. So I will go with Skarmy. Let's see if he has anything. He has an Ice Spirit over there. Let's go with a Miner and a Goblin Gang. Let's see if he locks right now. Yes, yeah, so he locks. So let's pay attention on how much cards you drop. Because uh, your opponent has to place four cards. To have that one card in cycle again. But we just need to want to... Or we want to cycle back to Mirror, I mean. Let's see if he goes in. No, he goes in with Princess. I will go with uh, Fire Spirits. No, we didn't kill the Princess. Well, wow, that's unfortunate. I think the Skarmy. Yeah, the Skarmy will actually die. And uh, we have nothing. Okay, so two skeletons will kill the princess, I hope. Uh, let's see. Okay, he goes in. Wow, that's... that's <laughs> the cycle is really bad. We aren't able to kill any of his princesses. And I think he cycled back to lock right now. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he definitely cycled back to lock. So let's go with a miner to... 
I need to drop a defensive miner for his for his uh, spear goblins. Then I will go with goblin gang. See if he uses his lock. Okay, so he uses his lock. So let's see if he goes in with a princess. Uh, okay, so he goes in with it, and then we can go with uh, Skarmy. So he did use that. I think if he drops his ice spirit right now, we are able to go for three guns. But he already took down a tower. We're way too focusing on defense. And right now he can just go with a goblin gang uh, to defend this. Maybe he even has um, has his lock again. Yeah, this is definitely a good game. He he has really good defense. So definitely well played by him. Let's give him the good game and a thumbs up. Uh, again, the princess at the bridge. He's playing that quite smart. I guess I could try to go for the, the tower over there. But I still think it's a good game. Um... Let's see, let's go with a Goblin Barrel, let's go with Miner. I think he has Goblin Gang over there. Yeah, there you go, he has Goblin Gang over there. We do have some Skeletons and some Goblins, but I still think he's able to defend that. Um, let's go with Fire Spirits, let's Rocket his Princess. The Fire Spirits are able to take, um, take down the Barrel quite easily. Uh, we do have a Mirror Barrel, let's say he used his Lock. Okay, so but he's just applying pressure, really well played by him. So unfortunately, this matchup, we weren't able to win it. Uh, of course, the defense is solid with this deck, but we just weren't able to get any offensive damage. We still took down the tower, uh, the right side tower, down to or below 1,000. But let's give him the thumbs up. Definitely well played by him. So let's see. So I, I hopefully we're able to get at least one more three crown because so far we got three wins. Uh, two with three crowns, one with uh, taking the left side tower and the other one was a loss. So let's give him the thumbs up and a good luck. And again, I want to bait out his spell, see if he has anything. Oh, wow. This is a level eight. Um, poor guy. Hopefully we're able to three crown him still because that's the point of this deck. But he has a level two, which really unfortunate for him. He has a Skarmy over there. And well, maybe he will, um, I guess this is a fair matchup because we're trying something which is almost impossible. But I don't know if he has any big spells. He does have a witch uh, going there, but I will drop my goblin gang. Goblin gang should be able to kill those skeletons and then counter the witch as well. I will just go with a Skarmy at the bridge, see if he has anything like arrows or something. He used a Sparky. Okay, so he, is, he does have arrows, so he spent a lot of elixir. Let's give him the good game. See if he like goes all in with his push right now. And then we try to get, um, let's see, he has a Sparky there. Then we go for a push. Okay, so let's go with a Goblin Barrel Mirror. And let's have the clone ready, guys. Let's see if he has anything for this. So let's clone over here. He cloned as well. But let's see if the Goblins are able to take it out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, there you guys have it. We three crowned him. Poor level 8. That's unfortunate for him. I feel sorry for him. But let's give him the good game. Well played. And a thumbs up. And wow, this deck is crazy, guys. Like, when they go all in, I'm calling good game. So they go all in. And most of the players actually do that. And then we just surprise attack them. So let's hop into one more match. I'm recording for 12 minutes right now. So this will be the last match. And go. I think he's a top player. I'm not sure about that. But let's give him a thumbs up and a good luck. And again, I want to bait out the spells. I will probably start off with a Goblin Gang and a Miner. Uh, just to see. So let's go with a Goblin Gang and a Miner for the Princess. Um, if he has a lock, he will probably use it. Okay, so he actually... No, he didn't defend the Princess. The Princess went down. And he has Bandit right there. This is a good example of the Skarmy. Let's say he uses his Zap or a lock. Uh, we can counter that. So let's go with Fire Spirits. And so far we're playing pretty good, but he didn't show any of his spells, so we're not free to place our, um, like we can't go with Mirror Clone right now, guys. That would be just uh, suicide, I guess, just because he will have a spell for sure. He didn't show us yet, but he definitely has one. So let's go with Goblin Barrel to see which spell he has. So, okay, so he has Zep, which I think is good for us, but still the Zep will kill the Goblins. Uh, quite easily so let's go with goblin gang and maybe this guy already knows what deck i'm using maybe he's prepared for it but i don't know of course let's go with a miner um do i want to drop my skarmy i i need to drop my skarmy over here because like otherwise the bandit will get a dash and i just want to make sure like he, he thinks we're playing real uh of course i can take some damage with this deck but i just need to make him think we're playing a real deck so let's go with fire spirits on this side go with goblin barrel again i just need to find that good moment of uh like the attack but i don't need to wait too long because otherwise he's able to um to just defend really easy because in double elixir he would always have an answer for it so let's have the goblin gang ready for his barrel knowing that it will come he will probably zap it over here um let's go with a defensive miner Let's see, he dropped his princess as well. Interesting princess. Let's go with Skarmy to the side. Just to make sure we counted that. Because otherwise the bandit would have get, uh, gotten a dash. Uh, he used his zap. I just need to wait for him to 
use more units. Let's see if we are able to... Yeah, we are able to splash the princess away. And I think he doesn't have uh, Zap and Psycho right now. So let's go with Mirror Goblin Barrel right now. And let's see if this will work out. I don't think so because he's quite a good player. And he uses Defensive Goblin Barrel actually. Wow, he defended really well. Definitely well played. And I think this is another match where we need to go for the second tower or the right side tower. Okay, so he actually goes in with... Um, he goes in with a rocket and I think we are able to punish that quite nice. He used his zap as well, but we have a goblin barrel over there. And we have mirror rocket, so we don't need to forget that, of course. We just need to watch out for him to get enough damage to get it in rocket range. Um, well played on defense right there by him. Definitely well played. Let's go with goblin gang. Hopefully we're able to drop it in time. I don't think so. Yeah, we were able to uh, counter it fully. Let's go with goblin barrel and a minor to tank. Let's see if we can um, get some damage over there, guys. Let's see, I think this is Mirror Rocket, but he just has too much units on the field. Um, oh, wow, the Knight actually connected, and that is Rocket Range. Otherwise, we defended that quite nice. If the Knight didn't connect, we defended that quite nice. But that's good game. Definitely well played by this guy. Interesting deck by him. He had Lockbait with the Bandit. Good game. Well played. And the thumbs up. So the beginning was uh, easier. The further we got in the Grand Challenge, the harder it got. So we lost twice. So let's let's look at the um, the battle look real quick. So these were the um, I think this was the first game, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. So this was the first game. So the first game we got three crowns. Uh, no, actually this was the first game versus the golem. So this was the first game versus the golem. We were able to get it, but it was quite hard. Like the first push got a lot of damage, but then we couldn't get it in rocket range right away. So I had to cycle to barrels and minor. Then we were able to get it. Then this one, I believe this was really easy. Let's rewatch this. This one was like 15 seconds. Um, like 50 seconds, I believe. So as you guys can see, we were waiting a little bit, defending a little bit. So I sent in this. And look at this, guys. So he spent all his elixir. He even dropped his fire spirits over here. So look at this. He dropped his fire spirits. Look at this elixir. He has two elixir right now. And we have that. So he did drop his goblins, I think. Or maybe he didn't even drop it. He was just too surprised. But look, oh, he actually went all in. He dropped his goblins at the bridge. He didn't expect that. He felt maybe that wouldn't deal that much damage. He did have a lock in cycle, but he was too late. And we already got the three grounds. I think it, that was in uh, within the first minute of the game. So that's crazy. He's laughing as well. But that was definitely the best episode, uh, the best battle of this episode, in my opinion. Let me know what um, what battle you think was the best of this episode. This was also crazy. With with the Mega Knight uh, two Musketeers, but we didn't get three crowns, which is the main point of this deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A little bit different as usual, but definitely let me know if I should do something like this uh, more often because it's definitely fun, but I don't know if it's fun to watch as well. So let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, smack that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye, guys.